Robert E. Lee Building has had a long history in Lexington. The inside is being remodeled. It will have 39 rooms, a conference room, a restaurant, and commercial space on the first floor. I think Lexington it was ready for something to happen. For nearly two decades, the hotel was home to 26 low-income elderly residents. They had to move, and it wasn't easy, because most of them didn't have cars. Betty LaRock runs the Rockbridge Area Transportation Service. She explains the move was hard for some of the residents. One of our riders has lived there for over 17 years, so there's a longevity there with a lot of riders, and he was extremely sad, and um, we worried about him. The Rockbridge County's Director of Rental Assistance, Vicki Agner, insists the moves went smoothly. City of Lexington actually stepped up to the plate and uh, provided funding for uh, moving expenses and deposits for utilities and deposits for the, the rent. Um, that worked out really well. Penny Casa says the new Robert E. Lee Hotel will be good for downtown Lexington. We, we hope that once we finish some of the other uh, landlords, they will start uh, cleaning up some of their, their buildings. The hotel is expected to open in spring 2014. Reservations are being accepted now. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Chelsea Gilman.